Hey guys, Randy here. Um, kind of a two week update. Uh, I was able to get a few things done today that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, it was pretty nice to be able to do it and buy it, buy the stuff local too. Uh, so check this out. All right, I'm gonna turn you around. All right, so here's obviously the back door. This is pretty much the, the primary door that I use. That one right there. I try to just use the one door because I don't like to track in too much dirt. Then over here, this one goes right into the bedroom. All right. So for the longest time, I had my Starlink set out over here on the ground, just right out here. You know, satellite direction was that way. So it's you know, it's there's really no obstructions whatsoever. You know, don't don't really have to worry about that too much. I could just place it anywhere. Anyhow, but what I was doing. It was kind of a pain in the butt was I'd leave this door I'd leave this door here cracked open just a little bit so that I could run my Starlink cable out there on the ground what I did though now I'll bring you back here and I'll show you it's really nice um, Wayne and Rhonda found this for me um, I had to buy it but that right there there's my Starlink pole now I mean, I could put it up higher, but like I was just saying, there's no real, real point in that because there's absolutely no obstruction at all anywhere. Plus, that just keeps it a little bit more stable. Yeah. So I just have that, and I decided I wanted to keep the integrity of the camp. I didn't want to go drilling a hole and putting some kind of grommet in there. Um, so what I did just is a real cheap way of doing this. Just uh, throw a little duct tape on, on the screen, cut a little slit in there. When at night I can just pull that down and stuff a little uh, little um, towel or something like that in there just to keep it so it doesn't get so cold. But at night or just before morning, um, I've been waking up to you know a 45 degree camper, absolutely not wanting to get out of bed. This this will definitely help with that. Um, so yeah, I did I did a little thing here. But everything's going fantastic. Um, pretty much getting settled in. I did have a, kind of a major issue with uh, Amazon, and I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, but it's called Vitoman. It's a 1500 watt um, uh, power station, portable power station. It was it wasn't cheap at all. Anyhow, um, I used it like three times, and it just stopped working. And uh, I tried uh, um, looking it up anywhere just to see if this problem has existed before. Um, it didn't. I couldn't find anything. So I'm pretty sure that this is just kind of a one-off deal. But the problem that I had was for some reason, I don't know how it happened, but it doesn't show up in my, um, in my uh, purchase history. So, and then of course I'm out here you know, living in a camper, um, I want to uh, get rid of waste as soon as possible. Now, being in IT, I, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be IT, but um, you want to, uh, your, your big ticket items, especially your electronics, is you're going to want to try to keep those boxes at least through the warranty time. And that, that box would have had um, everything, my tracking, I would have been able to... Um, uh, squared away with Amazon pretty quickly and easily. Unfortunately, there was no history of it. Um, even my bank transaction, you know, it doesn't have like an Amazon purchase order number on it. It just has a transaction number. So it looks like I'm just SOL. That's the Vito Min uh, Jump 1500X. If any of you guys know how to uh, do some troubleshooting with that, drop drop a link. <laughs> Or uh, a comment on that but anyhow so it looks like I'm out um, I think it was right around 560 bucks or something like that uh, it's kind of sucks so instead this time what I did is I just bought another gray cell t1000 so I already have one of those and it works fantastic but I have to be able to rotate these things um, uh, you know I have the well the next real big upgrade that I need to do is um, get a larger amp hour battery um, 
because I've got plenty of solar. I mean, I've got 800 watts of solar panels up, up top. Then I've got um, that T1000 and that T300 and then another T1000 coming. So, but really what I need to do is just get a bigger battery. I've got two 100 amp hour brand new lithiums that as soon as I upgrade to that 400, um, I'm going to sell those. I mean, I won't be able to go parallel with two 100s and, a, and, then, a, and then a 400. Um, plus it'll be a different brand um, so I'll probably be selling them a hundred bucks a piece they're brand new um, if you guys are interested let me know um, obviously if if it's one you know uh, I we'd have to figure out shipping um, but if you're if you're in and around La Posa or uh, Quartzsite anywhere uh, they are literally brand new batteries and I'll probably be doing that upgrade um, next month um, uh, but just that one battery, that 400 amp hour, I think it's a 410 or 407 or something like that. I can't remember. Um, it's a $1,500 battery. Uh, but one single battery is double what I, more than double what I got. And um, the total weight on that battery is only like 80 pounds. So it's actually the one, one of those is lighter than the two 100s that I have. But I'll also then need to um, get somebody that can um, fabricate a, uh, uh, you know, a box or a battery tray for it because it's, it's, the dimensions are entirely different. It's a lot longer. Um, and I think the, the width is the same, but it's a lot longer and whatnot. So I'm just going to have to figure that part of it out. Um, and I'll just have some, a, a local welder do that. And uh, yeah, um, so been still dealing with, with, you know, solar and battery and whatnot. Last night I forgot the, um, I uh, didn't turn the uh, water heater off um, after my shower yesterday. And that I woke up this morning to um, my power alarm. If it gets down to a certain point, I think it's like 10.8 volts left, then it just starts beeping and it starts shutting everything off and it preserves that last little bit of power for the uh, refrigerator. So, so yeah, um, that kind of stinks. I mean, if you, you know, like even if I left the Starlink plugged into um, the outlet at night, that'll drain it down too. That's why I like having these T1000s or these little um, uh, portable power stations. Uh, this way I can, you know, if I want to like, you know, open up my laptop at night and watch a little YouTube or, or something, whatever, and then um, I don't have to really worry about it. Um, my uh, batteries, um, if I have everything shut off, um, everything would be just fine, but I definitely do want to upgrade that um, the two 100s, you know, the battery bank, my uh, my overall battery bank. I want to upgrade that. I want to double that, just for peace of mind. You know, since I'm working uh, from the camper, I can't really have an excuse of uh, uh, what's going on. I'm going to turn you around. I gotta see this little hummingbird. See that guy? Oh, the other one just chased him off. They've been getting so um, brave. They literally, they literally will come right up to uh, the the cabin. One flew into my or cabin. Um, I keep wanting to call it a cabin because it feels like the cabin. <laughs> but one actually flew into the camper the other day. Flew in about three feet, turned around, or maybe a couple feet, turned around and flew right back out. And then this one, uh, the 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 feeder was empty, and so they one's been coming right up to the door. Uh, I couldn't figure out what he was doing, but it's pretty cool. He just come in, he'll look in at me, and then he'll fly away. He'll come back, like not even a minute later, look at me, fly away. So it's pretty neat having this these little uh, birds. You know, I've never. Oh, now he's sitting there. Look at this. Look at the lower left part of it. Let me try to zoom in. See that? Isn't that cool? He's just chilling. Yeah, I love having that. I've never had any kind of bird feeder. And as a matter of fact, um, uh, David at, or at Come On Mountain, um, he kind of gave me this idea, you know, from his videos. Uh, from his videos, when you don't remember when he had those. Oh man, there's another one. They're busy. Look at that. Look at that. You know what's really surprising? Is how loud they 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 chirp for being so little. Like if you walk by close enough, they'll give you a little chirp. And uh, 
they'll startle you because you're just not expecting it. Anyhow. Anyhow, that's my entertainment. <laughs> um, they're fun. Uh, but, yeah, David uh, over at Come On Mountain, when he put his his uh, hummingbird feeders up, and then, you know, that gave me the idea because once I got down here and I saw how many of them there were, I'm like, oh, man, I got to do that. So I got one for Wayne and Rhonda and, and myself, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So let me see what else is happening these days. That's really kind of about it, just just getting settled in and getting the battery and the power and stuff like that all squared away and figured out. I'm pretty much there. I mean, I know now that what I need is a, um, I need to upgrade my battery bank. And that's coming. That'll be, that'll be next month at the latest, I think. <clears throat> Because I don't necessarily even need to have the um, the battery box already. I can just, you know, kind of do what, like, uh, Mike over there at uh, Drifting Dreamers did. Just kind of prop it up there and bungee it in until I can find a, a local um, uh, welder fabricator. Um, I do it myself, but obviously I don't, I'm not going to lug around a, a welder, you know. Uh, so, anyhow, and I'm only an average welder anyhow. So I'd rather have somebody that can do quality work do it. Anyhow, I think that's about it. That's I'm going to cut this short and up, upload this for you guys. So uh, thanks for sticking around and like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff if you feel like joining the parade. All right, later. Have a great uh, weekend. Bye. One last look. I love that thing and the birds that provide all that entertainment for me. You guys have a good one.